Hey, Josh. We Josh? can't hear you. You can't hear me. All right. Connected well, to audit. Oh, there you are. Now, you can you hear me okay? I can. All right. We, we, we can, how are you, pal? Good. How are you? You're all dressed up. Well, you know, hey, man, it's my first, first Zoom, and I thought I'd wear this shirt because it makes my eyes pop. <laughs> <laughs> Those baby blues? That's it. How you doing, pal? I'm sorry. So sorry to hear about that damn, uh, you know, uh, the AAF screwing everybody like that. Oh, no. Well, it wasn't AAF. It was the, the Christians, you know. It was. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, bring in the Tigers. We are waiting. Oh, here's Isaiah. And then we're waiting on Mike Shue. Mike Shue? Do I have to go down there? <laughs> come to your house, Shue. I will. Where's Mike live? Mike lives in uh, Worcester. Okay. All right. Yeah. There he is. There he is. All right. It's oh. about to get louder. Yeah, man. It's going to get real loud. <laughs> I love it. There it is. Dolan. Right. right. Oh. 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 Now like we're banging sideways. on all cylinders. <laughs> yeah. How did I fix this last time? Hey, You're... Mike shows. There you go. Now what back. the fuck hey. is Lenny Clark doing on my phone? <laughs> oh, you're on the phone? Oh, I stepped up and put you on an iPad. Look at you. You got a nice shirt on and shit. I, well, listen, it's my first Zoom. I didn't know how this works. I didn't, Who I, taught you? Huh? Who taught you? You. You did. That's why <laughs> my first Zoom. I wouldn't have done this for anyone else. Maybe sure, but definitely... When you call me, I said, okay. Lenny, Good this time. is how you got to do your stand-up from now on. This is right? the way it's got to be done. You know, Mike, people have called me and offered me more money to do this Zoom thing than they're getting in the clubs. I go, you got to be kidding me. They go, well, the one thing is there'll be no hecklers. You know what I mean? Because I, I draw hecklers no matter what. I, I could be <laughs> in an elegant theater and someone yeah. will feel, oh, Lenny likes you when I heckle him. No, I don't. I don't now. Now I can send you a, 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 a telegram. You suck during my Zoom. <laughs> well, it's just like radio. You say something and it's just silence. You don't know right. who's laughing. <laughs> uh, there you go. All right, well, I'm Zooming it up. I'm Zooming with you guys. Thank you. Mike, Mike did you get my phone call? I did, Lenny. Thank you very much. I'm sorry I didn't get back to you. No, that's that okay. Nice I, message. You no, know, I want to let you know how much I thought of you. And, you know, you're, you're a good guy. So there you go. Well, thanks a lot, man. Yeah, you've been very supportive of uh, you know the station and us from over the, the years. Beginning. We appreciate the that, beginning, man. Pretty crazy. So, this but whole, now uh, we're beyond. We're beyond that. We're all into Zoom, Zoom. So this is my first Zoom. You're breaking my cherry. <laughs> all right, first well, Zoom. take off your shirt. Let's get this started. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this uh, this whole thing, like this whole this ready whole, to go. This whole podcast started after they shut off WAF. Josh had this breaking the ice podcast and he was like you guys want to get together we did about two or three and then right. this covid fucking horse shit happened so here we are oh, doing man. it this way it's unbelievable i mean well, the one thing i i can you know i mean it's nice being home you know because i mean i yes. i tell you the house but it's a mess my wife's in virginia so i'm just living like a crazy man i'm like i'm not like a guy who broke in and um <laughs> you know, this is the longest i've been on the vineyard since i bought this house Three years ago. I'm usually working. So now I'm home. I'm just digging it. <clears throat> I've learned the importance of expiration dates. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Some stuff. You know, you got mayonnaise, you know, that was when yeah, I still had bread. Get rid of it. <laughs> You got you got to throw it out. <laughs> I just had a turkey sandwich today, and uh, let's just say the sell by date was five days ago after I'm halfway through the fucking sandwich. Yeah, yeah, you got to check before, you know, because yeah, if you have that COVID virus, you can't smell. So you could have a, a right. ranch. You can make yourself a rancid protein shake. Fuck. You never know. But that way you'll be sitting for days. As long as you got toilet paper from those hoarding sons of bitches. Um, but, you know, I, I, my wife's a heavy wiper, so my house is packed with her. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I'm opening it up way too much. Oh. You can't oh. see this out of Virginia. Can't you? Well, yeah, she, when Josh posted, maybe. Yeah, well, this isn't radio. Not everyone gets <laughs> WAF. Everybody gets the internet. So, oh, all right. Oh, that's yeah. This is the web. 
very, very it, – it, I think it might work out, especially with this uh, quarantine stuff. People are reaching out. What have you been doing with your time? Po uh, polishing and cleaning my guns, you know, because <laughs> when this thing goes sideways, you know, everyone's all happy. And, oh, we'll zoom, zoom, zoom. When this thing goes apart, <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. I live, up, I live up on a hill a mile off a dirt road, off another dirt road, and I have like about a 300-yard window of, of what I can see out of the woods. And, the, you know, no one's sneaking up on me. They call that a kill zone, Lenny. That's a 300-yard <laughs> kill zone. That's pretty yeah, good. I, yeah, I didn't want to mention that. Yeah, if you're a good <laughs> shot, that's pretty good. Have a lot of people been fleeing to, uh, to the vineyard, to the island, uh, well, to we get away, some outsiders? Yeah, we were doing great until someone came from New York and, and, and closed the deal on a house and infected someone and they infected someone and someone infected them. So now we're up to 15 infected people on the island, which I think you should wear, you know, something on your forehead, like I infected, you know? Well, how about CC I, for con, uh, con, what are you, COVID cunt? Yeah, I was gonna go for COVID cunt. <laughs> yeah, it's like a sex <laughs> offender. You should be it's up my in the post first, office. It's my first Zoom Zoom, so I didn't know how far I could go with this. We but can say if I could anything. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you're good, Lenny. Hey, that's wild. In the old days, you know, I, I just, before this virus hit, uh, I read for a show called Kevin Go Fuck Himself. Right? Oh. Yeah, this was, uh, and this was on uh, the, the network that did uh, Mad Men and uh, Walking Dead. AMC. AMC. Oh, AMC, and right, they, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God, we love you. This is so good. I go, Kevin can fuck himself. 50 years, people have been telling me, Lenny, you got to work clean. You got to work clean. Now the show's called Kevin Can Fuck Himself. I mean, how far have we gone? And then, and I, you know, I think I had a pot, and then this, this virus kicked up. So, I don't know, maybe Kevin's dead. Who knows? Fuck yeah, Kevin. I was going to ask you what, uh, what other podcasts you've done. And uh, right before this hit, I saw you on that Hack Joe Rogan's podcast. Oh, that oh, yeah. guy stinks. Yeah. Uh <laughs> I idea what no he's one, doing. Nobody, nobody, nobody listens to his podcast. Now, welcome to a real podcast. Yeah. Oh! Joe's, Joe's, Joe's been asking me to do that podcast for like three years. I said, Joe, what's a podcast? He said, just get out of here. I'll explain everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah Joe, Joe's my first podcast, my third podcast. And you guys are like four, you know? But we're the first Zoom. You're the first, oh, you're definitely the first Zoom. <laughs> That might break my Zoom cherry. I'm very excited about this. <laughs> Zoom is not just a PBS show anymore. Oh, right. Well, I, I first I did that that Noom, and I was losing weight. No one was hearing me. So uh, <laughs> you're, you're still you're still a skinny, but you have to be. Look, everyone's losing weight during the quarantine. You are already skinny as fuck. No, nobody's losing, losing weight, weight, Isaiah. What are you talking about? Nobody's I, I losing weight. They're I all can't. breaking. They're all baking bread and, and cupcakes, and they're eating everything in their pantries because they got nothing else to do. Everybody's no. going to be fat, alcoholic, no. divorced, no. and there's no salons or hair hairdressers or barbers open. So they're going to be fat. <laughs> they're going to be alcoholic. They're going to wow. be divorced, and their hair's going to look like shit when this whole gonna pass go, is over. And when we can go to funerals, they're going to go and go. Wow, he looks bad. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, I feel like people are going to miss this. If you, if you just drink vodka, that's how you lose weight. Oh, there you go. You know what I noticed about you Zoom people? All of your homes are so clean. I'm very, very proud of you guys. My oh. place is like a shithole. I mean, every now and then you see the, uh, the grill go whizzing by because the winds are like 70 miles per hour out there. You know? Well, we all have shitholes. You can only see like three feet of our house. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. It's what's, it's what's right back here. It's like, this is clean. The shit over there, not so clean. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. It's all tucked yeah, in like that I, closet over there. Yeah, Very I've been nice. cleaning out my office, so it's all like, you know, look at this, this like shit everywhere. Look at, look at what I found. Look at what I found. Look at this. What is I that? I found oh. one of these. Um, a camera. Oh, my God. You but there's no place no to camera. get that developed. Yeah, yeah, I have yeah. no idea when it's from or what could possibly be on it. I'm afraid. I'm afraid to get it developed. You should go find a place if there is a place to get it where? developed. And we should, CBS. on the air... Oh, look through CBS. the pictures. CBS <laughs> do it for you. Hey, you know what? Put it in a jar and bury it in your backyard. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, great. So when people like thousands of years from now dig up my backyard, it's going to be a bunch of dick pics. Yeah, you go. Look at, look at yeah. the hog on you. Oh, my God. <laughs> you, know you've got, you know you've got a dick pic on that camera. You know. We've afraid, already done that man. on this podcast, though. This could be from the 90s. I don't know. It's bad news, man. Bad news. Take it to CVS. There are no more Kodak. 
fucking right. remember the remember the Kodak <laughs> drive up booths back in the day? What? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, they're all they're all coffee places now. Yeah, that's all right. Like, yeah. And 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 they get upset when you ask them to develop something for you. <laughs> <laughs> I should do that. <laughs> I thought you wanted a latte. What do you mean? You don't want a latte? Fuck you. Where's my the latte? Is that, the, that the large shot? How about a panorama? What do I call that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, nothing, nothing about this COVID virus. You know, we, we have to learn more. Shelter in place and then uh, social distancing. And then, uh, you know, what's that uncoupling thing that 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 crazy bitch came up with. I mean, all these new words. I mean, listen, stay away from people. <laughs> stay in the house, wash it. Wash your hands, I've been washing my hands. I wash my hands before I take a piss. Listen to me, I'm a wreck. I'm a wreck, I'm old. I, I, I'm, in the, uh, I'm in the dead zone. You know, over 65, you know, prior heart problems. You know, all the blow in the past, that, that shot my, my poor heart. I think I had a couple. I, I beat myself to, you know, I gave myself CPR. Self CPI, you don't do that, do you? Social distancing. How about self CPI when you're doing rail snooping, you hot and you gotta beat yourself to get it going again? How about that, <laughs> oh, I, I think you must you must have done enough. You must have done enough blow that you're you're immune to it at this point. I mean, you know, if you were doing that in the '80s and stuff like that, then I think uh, the you know the amount of cocaine has made your immune system stronger against the COVID virus. 70, 80, 90s, yeah. Yeah, say 80s, uh, 60s, that was the 70s, real 80s. Sorry, I forgot a couple decades. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I was experimenting. There was, there was, uh, there was for 30 years? Yeah, yeah. Well, was, <laughs> trying to get it was, right. There was talk that it made you more creative, you know? Oh. And, uh, it was talk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was a lot of talk. A yeah, lot it, of was all, talk. it was all bullshit because, uh, I thought when I stopped, oh man, I won't be as creative. I go, yeah, but even when I even when I wasn't creative, the shit was better than the stuff I was doing. I mean, I was crazy. Is that good? Yeah, I I'd, I'd find papers all over the house that I wrote notes on, and it was like it was hieroglyphics, man. I couldn't figure that shit out. <laughs> it's like, oh, I got a good one. <laughs> oh yeah, man. Yeah, one thing I've learned: if you note to self, if you're gonna write yourself a note. Make it legible, you know? Yes. So you don't have to, hmm, what, what could that be? Ah, I don't have time. <laughs> Josh and I tried a late night Zoom. We did one of these Zoom. Oh, God. You've, been, you've, been, you've been sober for 30 years now, Lenny, right? 20, well, 20, coming up on 24, yeah. 24, congratulations. We're not, that, we're still drunk. Well, that's uh, all right, nothing wrong with that. I don't know <laughs> people. Nope. But if I was drinking, this COVID virus would be put on the back burner, believe me. There'd be a lot <laughs> in the news every night. And there was another Len another Lenny sighting. <laughs> we 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 tried we did one of these late night zooms, but uh, let's just say there were a few drinks at us and that we're just, I think we were trying to be creative and I just started laughing like a we, fucking Yeah, we, we like thought we minutes. were being creative, but then when you watch it back when you're sober, no. it's like you're watching someone else. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm you're like, this is no different conversations. <laughs> yeah, that's just like Coke. That's the same thing. You do a Pretty ton much. of blow. You're like, that's the best thing I've ever done in my life. And then you watch right. it back. You're like, oh, my God. Oh, I didn't know <laughs> I there didn't were remember cameras. saying that. Don't yeah. tell me there were cameras there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we, we purposely <laughs> turned the dumb cameras on. Yeah. And, and we watched it the next day, both super hungover, going, we shouldn't fucking do that again. No. <laughs> God, it wasn't live. Yeah, a lot of my, a lot of my, my, my coke runs were like out-of-body experiences. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, I'm, yeah, but, that, but I'm glad that's behind me. Oh my God! Did you see being coked up now? Oh, oh my God! You know, you see, no. there's, there's people coming in the house now. It's come on in. The door's <laughs> open. <laughs> the polar opposite of fucking. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Are the cops here? I can't. <laughs> God, I hope so. Maybe not that I've ever done blow. Not that I've ever done it. I, I, I a friend told me, of course. Oh man, I did so much in the past. There were times we'd start to run out, and I would I would call those psychic hotlines. Who's got the blow within the twenty mile radius of my house? <laughs> <laughs> but you you you'd get paid in cocaine though, so you, I mean at least you know where during the week. You know, Josh, I remember the first time I got paid in coke. I was working at a place in Sarasota, Florida, and the guy said, "Well, Lenny." Uh, do you want two grand 
or an ounce of, ounce of blow. And I went, hmm, why don't we do half and a half? Half and half and half. And I ended up, well, I, I don't know where it was. It was like a time travel. And I ended up, I think, in, in Fort Lauderdale, I think, maybe. Yeah, it was far oh. away I was. Was that the um, same trip you were talking about on Rogan when you ended up in Columbia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And people, people, <laughs> people corrected me going, that's only a 30-mile drive. And I go, first of all, 30 miles in the condition I was, that would be like time travel. But I went from, uh, <laughs> I went from, from Sarasota to, to Fort Lauderdale, I think. And that's a lot different than Orlando. So I think Orlando's near for, uh, Sarasota. Kind of, sort of, maybe. It's in, well, well, Orlando's well, right Lauderdale. in the middle. How about Fort Lauderdale? That's a hike, right? That's a hike. Yeah, that's where I went. Because I talked with Jackie, uh, Jackie, uh, oh, Jack, Jackie the Jokeman about it. And he said, oh, yeah, you came in like a man hunting for bear. You know? <laughs> <laughs> 23 years of sobriety is good, though. What were, you, uh, what were you doing right before this shit went down? What were, you, what were you planning on doing? What were your, everybody was just like whack overnight. The shit was gone. What, were you, what did you have in the works? I had a, a couple movies and uh, a little independent thing. I mean, major motion picture movies, they got pulled. And then there, there were a couple of, uh, there were a couple of TV sitcoms that, that I had gone right through the, uh, right through the, the, the auditioning process. You know, I was, I was at the end in the, um, you know, the callback section. And, and, I, and I said, man, and they were telling me, Lenny, we, we really want you to do this. I'm going, yeah. So now, uh, the one thing I learned about it is I'm offer only. You know what I mean? Because I've retired from the Screen Actors Guild. I've retired from AFTRA. I think I'm going to take Social Security. And people go, why? And I go, because I don't care. I got no money. I mean, what do you think? Comedians stash shit away like squirrels? Hey, man, even 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 straight, I have a problem with cash. You know what I mean? <laughs> I made millions and millions of dollars. I mean, I had my first million dollar check had the Disney castle on it. And I said to the wife at the time, look, baby, the Disney castle's on the check. She says, don't ever tell anyone that story. <laughs> uh, so, so is there any is, is there any like any voiceover work any, I mean, like I, I remember right before this you were you just hit with those jordan's commercials and those were a fucking riot well you know what i mean i, I, I tell you what uh i've always wanted to do it. i asked them to do it 30 years ago and they said we don't do commercials with anyone and then he called me up and i went hey man he goes i said you've never done a commercial he said you'll be our first one so it was such a hit they want me to do more, but you know, not everything shut down now, you know? So yeah, Fuck. I've been doing commercials. I've been, and, and I, I'm not one of those people. Oh, I'm above doing commercials. Man, no. George Clooney, Brad Pitt, they all do commercials, but they're in Japan. No right, one yes. Them. They make millions and millions of dollars. Oh yeah, they I'll pay out here. huge. I'll do them here with a Japanese accent if I have to. I'll do oh. whatever they want. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Well, don't you have a don't? You, where, where else in the world do you have a huge audience, Lenny? Anywhere uh, else in the world? Can you go? Can you say you're big in Japan, or you're huge in Europe, or they love no, you in Australia? I, no, uh, Belarus, I think they they like. <laughs> really I did I did this internet thing uh, with Steve Katzos, and he goes, "Man, we got more letters from Belarus." And I went, "Really? Was that near Riviera? <laughs> you know, I'm not I don't even know where it is, but yeah." <laughs> This I mean, podcast is big in Istanbul, wherever that is. So that's not. Oh yeah, they're huge. That's oh, true. Is it? Is it? Oh. Yeah, they make nice rugs there. And <laughs> I, I, I was off the coast of Turkey. I was I was in uh, 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 Greece. Okay, so we pull in, we we land in Greece, and they say, "Listen, we get your hotel room. Everyone's got the time to themselves. Well, we'll pick you up at around eleven thirty tonight." So I went, "Wow." So I was going to take a nap, as I often do. And I looked up and I saw the Acropolis and I went, oh my God, man, this is the birthplace of civilization. I can't nap, I'm never gonna see this shit again. <laughs> so I threw my stuff in a room, I went down and I got a cab, cab took me over to the bottom. Then I got on a bus and the bus took me up to the top and I'm walking around the Acropolis saying, look at me, man, I'm from Cambridge, I'm at the Acropolis. So I light up a cigar. And this, this, this God goes, out, you cannot smoke up here. I go, Why? What am I going to ruin something? You know? <laughs> and then I go, you know, they let me smoke when I open for Yanni. He goes, you know Yanni? Oh, you know. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty crazy. And then that night, they picked us up. I'll tell you a story I never told before. 
I went by this dollar store in Greece and they had uh, a meditation tape, you know, and I still had a Walkman. This is how long ago. This is over 30 years ago because I was, I, eh, I don't know, maybe if I, I would just stopped drinking. I don't know. Seems like, yeah, I just stopped drinking. So I got this meditation tape and I thought, wow, man, I'll listen to meditation. So they picked us up that night and we had a four hour ride up in the hills in the mountains outside of uh, Athens going to the, to the tip of Greece. And so I put in the meditation tape and everyone, all the guys, nine guys in this van and they all fell asleep. And I started listening to the meditation and I got this amazing erection. I went, whoa, this is not good. This is not good. There were no there were women from miles around. I have this hat on, not, not good. So I haven't meditated since. But anyway, we drive, right? So we drive all the way for four hours and we end up in this beautiful place with water and across from us, you can see Turkey. I go, what's that over there? They go, that's Turkey. And I go, wow, man, this is really wild. So I did the show that night. The commander of the base took me out. And I said, hey, man, what kind of base is this? He goes, what do you mean? I go, well, there's no tanks. There's no, there's no guns. There's no, not really a lot of troops. He goes, well, you know, it's just a regular base. I went, it's a new base. And he goes, I can't, I can't confirm or deny it. I go, you just fucking did, man. <laughs> I'm doing shows at a fucking nuke base. I had uh, one in Italy. I did one in Greece. I'm doing nukes. I, I, this is fucking wild. And they don't want to talk about it. Then when I brought up Area 51, that pretty much end the night. They, they, oh. they, they, it's, this conversation never happened. Yeah, <laughs> the, fucking, right. the Lenny Clark nuke tour. Yeah, yeah, I did a nuke <laughs> tour. I went, I was in Rome. I was in Rome, and I, and I really, really liked Rome. And I was like, like a tourist. Wow, what's that? What's that? What's that? I really enjoyed it. So I went to the Vatican. And inside, they have all these confessionals, like Russian, Lithuanian, Swahili, all this. So I, I went up to this one. I couldn't even pronounce it. But I go, I'll go in. I'll fucking spill my guts, give the best uh, confession of my life. And the guy won't understand the fucking thing I'm saying. right? So I go, and bless me, Father. I have since been so long. I can't remember. But I did a lot of really bad shit. I did this, I did that, I did this, I did that. And I said, well, you know, thanks a lot, Father. That should cover it. He goes, bless you, my son. I went, motherfucker, he understood everything I said. <laughs> <laughs> Batting like a man on fire. You know, those sweat guys would have ran after me if they didn't have the boots on. He's like, he was probably like, hey, I loved you on Rescue Me. You were the oh, best. <laughs> oh, that happened. That happened when I went to the White House. I went to the White House and all the guys with the guns. Hey, Uncle Teddy, Uncle Teddy. I went, oh, man, all right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How did it feel to shoot Dennis Leary? <laughs> you know, it was funny. It was really funny. Because that day, we went in, and we're just about to start. And, you know, Leary fucks around right up until the red light goes on. Then he's all serious. And he expects everyone around to be serious, too. So, anyway, I put the gun up. And he goes, cut, 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 cut. Goes, What's the matter, Mr. Leary? Goes, I've been with Lenny when we've been in a bar late night when he's had a gun. This is really a little bit too much. So we had a <laughs> what do you think your most uh, your most recognizable role is when you're out there? What What have you been most recognized for outside around of here, a fucking huge coke uh, and revere? Around here, the Jordan, <laughs> uh, Jordan, the Jordan commercials even bigger than any movie I've ever done. You know, I've done like thirty movies. Then she will tell you, I do a lot of elderly porn in Florida. I'm hey, you know I, what, oh man? yeah, let's clear you know that what, up right man? now. You're not gonna drag this into the podcast. <laughs> do it, it. done, done. You said it was a lie. Greg Hill just made that up, and I'm gonna bring that into the Zoom thing. <laughs> you're right. You're yeah, right. Yes, Lenny started the whole thing. Zoom world. Oh, right. oh, he left. I'm big at the villages. No, come he back, just, Joe. He's well, done. Joe. He storms off at least once a podcast, Lenny. He gets so fucking cantankerous. He's just mad because he, he fucking likes old people porn. I don't like old people porn. So wait, I like I, porn I, I, hold on, hold on. Hold women on. the that? same age as me. Is that weird? No. Wait, where, where did this come from, Shu? This, this came from him and Greg. Greg just yeah, brought yeah. it up at random. He just accused me at random of liking elderly porn. That's the one thing that sticks. And Lenny life. was in the room? Oh, Lenny just went with it. He went, oh, really? That's disgusting. Ah, oh, why are you? No, no, I, I tell you what, I'm, I'm big at the villages. They love me, Doc. Uh, you know, and <laughs> the highest rate of STDs have come out of the villages in Florida. Ooh, wow. Well, yeah, that's very those, true. Those, those elderly people, they really go at it. Because they figure, hey, we're old. What do we get to lose? You know what Right, I mean? yeah. And how do you, and yeah. how do you know that? 
for sure, Mike. No, Mike doesn't know. <laughs> oh, he just said he just fucking agreed with you. I the, yeah, it's a it's a common news story. There's all sorts of shenanigans that go down at the yeah. village. Common I don't remember, I don't remember reading those stories. It's hmm. all orgies and pimped up golf carts and yeah. Yeah, especially well, in Connecticut. Food sessions. You know, Coming that's up. the villages. It's a bad place, man. It's well, a bad man. area. Now, now fucking COVID's getting them all for having the fucking orgies. Too soon? No, oh, God. No. I hope not. Relevant. Well, yes. relevant. relevant. I mean, that's where everyone's uh, well, well, just trying to, trying to bring it back to now. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to bring it back to now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, uh, just for the record, please. I don't like elderly porn. No, I, I know. I, don't you like, I know you don't. <laughs> that, 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 that stuck with me for end. years, though. Shoe grabbed me. Shoe grabbed me. Go to the station one day and said, "Hey." He goes, "What the fuck is up with this elderly porn shit?" I go, "Mike, it was a fucking joke." He goes, "Never, never bring that up in my presence." <laughs> 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 but the the weirdest things get attached to you in radio. Like one time, I just randomly said that Shu and Carrie were talking about fluffing udders, and I was just like, "What's that?" And still to this day, people up in the street come up to me and they're like, "Do you really not know what a fluffing udder is?" I'm like, "No. Like, why would I know what that is? How the fuck don't you know what that is?" <laughs> it never came up. Isn't that the, in life? Isn't that the state sandwich of Rhode Island? <laughs> 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 Fluffernutter and and I don't know where the fuck isn't Fluffernutter from like Worcester and, or something? And coffee milk, coffee milk. That's definitely Rhode Island. The drink. Oh, the cabinets. Yeah, they call them cabinets for some reason. I don't know it, why. Is Fluffernutter? It's Rhode, Rhode Island. Island. Huh? No, fluff comes from uh, Lynn. Lynn, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I know so that does, now. So does cocaine. <laughs> and we're bringing it right back. <laughs> it's a full circle. Do you think this kid ever did cocaine? Right here. <laughs> Where'd you get, what the hell is that? What the fuck Where did is you that? get that? What? I bought How it off you... some, uh, I, I bought it off a Christian radio station website. Oh, They're really? Like Caleb? How the fuck did you get that made? <laughs> Josh has a fucking old school Mike shoe fucking Look t-shirt. at that mullet. Look at that. Look at that oh mullet, God. man. Oh, man. That's great. Oh, wow. <laughs> Where can we yeah. Josh, can we just, Josh just mentioned that. Let's have a meeting. Let's have a meeting, Lenny. Fucking WAF, 50 years of rock turns into a fucking Christian music station. Well, Nostradamus predicted this. Uh, uh, really? That, yeah, the station, the only station that really rocks would go Christian and there would be a plague and it would wipe out everybody. What the fuck? Yeah, I read it. I read it somewhere. Yeah. In the fucking Farmer's right. Almanac? No, was, I was, he read you, it in uh, the Vatican. It was on one of those yeah, magazines no. on the plane. It's... It's the new Passover. If you have an AAF sticker on your car, the COVID will pass over you. You'll be safe. So that's oh. how we're doing it. Hey, Josh, seriously, how the Boy. fuck did you make that T-shirt, man? <laughs> that's how what did he's you make that his T-shirt? Sponsorship money on, dude. That's what he's spending the sponsorship wow. no, money on. This is a. You know what that? Where did you? How did you make that? <laughs> Online, the internet's a wild place. Uh, hey, Mike. <laughs> oh my God. Mike, was that was that like your uh, your press picture when you started? No, that was me at Shoppers <laughs> World in Framingham picking up my tux for the prom in high school. You, that look, you look like you're the lead singer of a fucking Asian Duran right? Duran. Look at that. <laughs> look, really? Look at that fucking hair. Yeah, yeah man, It's my new favorite shirt. Point. I bet you got laid that night. I bet you got laid that night. Oh, you look fucking at those white right jeans, did, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, see him in Josh, the- Josh, can we get some of those with breaking the ice on it? I will wear that. Everywhere. Absolutely. Let's make a bunch. Oh, uh, oh, Letty, you're gonna you're gonna be proud. I, we um I want one. Definitely. Okay. You're gonna you're gonna be proud. Send me we your actually size. have we actually have sponsors of this. We've got a couple of cool people. Um Garage Doors Plus is a big sponsor yes. of this. They actually give us money. They must be crazy. Well, no. you keep it up, they're gonna give throw in a couple of garage doors too. Those people are not <laughs> cheap. Right. <laughs> Let's go. Let's in go. Boston exterior remodeling. Yeah, well, what are they? Oh, they yeah, do, thanks right? those that goes hand in hand with the garage doors. You exactly. get remodel the house and have lousy garage doors, you gotta have the garage doors. Fix it. And then uh, our friend Come. over at Invoke Media, so she does all the websites and all the digital, and these people, Lenny, are actually paying us. Hey, right. well they should. It's a hell of a show. You know, I I, I haven't done a I've never done a Zoom in my life. And it, it's been a lot of fun being with you guys. You Thank guys you. really know more guys, than Joe Rogan? Uh, 
Huh? <laughs> More than Joe Rogan? <laughs> oh, I, I can't answer that for two reasons. One, I, if I ever got in a fight with him, I'd have to lure him in front of a car. And two, <laughs> and he has uh, an arrow pointed at you right now. <laughs> He's unbelievable. He can kill you so many different ways. And thank God, thank God he likes me. I mean, I love Joe. Thank God he's my pal. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll be, we'll, we'll, guys, can we take, uh, we're Lenny's second favorite podcast behind Joe Rogan. Are we okay with that? Yeah, absolutely. Like that? Sure, oh, absolutely. yeah. Yeah, okay. That'll be the second sure. t-shirt, Lenny's second favorite podcast behind Joe Rogan. <laughs> no, no, no. How about this? My, if you got a Zoom, this is my favorite Zoom. Ooh. Yeah, there you go. All right. This All right. is being recorded. Yeah, yeah man. But Lenny, what? we took Lenny's Zoom cherry on the back. Yeah. That'd be oh, awesome. You always, remember of his face. Yeah. you always remember your first. See? That's right. <laughs> I think I, I, I can officially say that you were fucking bleeding after we popped you. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm still bleeding. I'm going to watch Perry Ma I'm going to watch a Perry Mason uh, marathon when I get off with you guys. Oh, shit. Hey, <laughs> calm down, Lenny. Okay? Yeah, yeah one of my favorite. One of my favorite all-time giant queens, Perry Mason. <laughs> <laughs> he was. He was yeah. like Rock Hudson. Nobody yeah. would believe Perry Mason was gay, like Rock Hudson. But yeah, he, he was did totally... Rock Hudson. They oh. did each other. They did. What oh. a yeah. fantastic guy. Are you going to tell me that Christopher Reeve's Superman was gay next? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. No, what? no, no. He was just paralyzed, Isaiah. This is a big difference. <laughs> hey, <laughs> different things. I met him. I met him with Robin Williams. We're at this bar in uh, in in New York City, Columbus. And uh, he says, Lenny. He says, uh, Chris Reeves is going to come in. He's not like us, you know. Go easy on him. I said, No, so like us. So, yeah. Sat down. He had a couple of things. I said, All right, fuck it. Come on, Chris. Just once. Fly around the room. Just fuck it one time. <laughs> Someone left. I came back to the table. He was gone. <laughs> Shocking. Yeah. <laughs> who, who is? Thank you. I think I, who is the? Who is the person in your memory that you fucking pissed off the most? Oh, that's a good question. Oh, oh, oh. There, there were quite a few. We have all yeah. kinds oh, of really, time. yeah, Re and really. I, <laughs> most of them were uh, were accidental. You know what I mean? It was self-inflicted wounds. I didn't mean to. All right. <clears throat> I read for this movie called True True Romance with... Uh, oh, yeah, uh, great movie. Yeah, with uh, Christian... Uh, uh, what's that kid's name? Christian well, Slater. He, yeah, he was the star. Yeah, yeah, he's he great. Had all sorts of people. He had Christopher Walken. He had, uh, I think, Bruce Willis. He had a lot of big... Dennis big, big, Hopper. Dennis Hopper. Oh, my God, yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. anyway, I'm, I'm going to read for the part of this uh, detective. And... Uh, I really, really worked for it. I mean, I, I studied the script day and night for like a week. And uh, Jennifer said to me, man, you're ready for this. So I drive over there and I go into the studio and uh, I'm waiting to go in the bungalow. And as I go in, the kid's coming out and I go, how many people in there? And he goes, I don't know, a lot, maybe 16 people. I said, 16 people? Because when you go into a room to audition, especially for a callback, you never know. It could be three people, it could be 30 people. And, you know, you walk in expecting 30 is only three. Not bad, but you go in expecting three and it's 30. It throws you. So now I'm ready for this. So I go in, and it's one of the uh, one of the biggest brothers. Uh, uh, one of them died, committed suicide, jumped off a bridge. Uh, uh, Ridley Scott, one of the Scots. Oh right, yeah. Right. Yep. So I go in, and he goes, "You ready?" And I go, "I'm ready." And I throw the script on the floor. He goes, "You must be ready." I said, "I am." He goes, "Let's go." I said, "All right." Times is hitting from the left. I was hitting from the right, and I said, you better lick it, because you're never going to lick pussy again. He goes, whoa, 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 whoa. Where does it say lick pussy? I said, right there in the script. He picks up, he says, it says like pussy. And without missing a beat, I said, well, if you like it, you lick it, right? And everyone in the room broke out laughing. He goes, get out! Get out of my house! Get the fuck out! Oh, uh, so, you were robbed. You oh, were robbed of that. You should have been in the better. fucking movie. It gets better. An hour later, my agent says, what the fuck did you do to Ridley Scott? He says, he never wants to see you again. He goes, you're going to be a great actor, but you got to get off the drugs. I said, I haven't done fucking blow in a week. I said, what I do? So who gets the role? Tom Sizemore and Chris Penn. Oh, my really? God. Tom, Tom Sizemore is like the biggest meth head, or was the biggest meth head ever. Right, yeah. That guy had a yeah, serious meth problem. And, and Chris Penn, God rest his soul, is not with us anymore. Right. 
There you go. <laughs> so yeah, I got. Yeah, I pissed him off really bad, and I didn't mean to. You know. Just, How many people did you piss off with Sam Kinison? <laughs> Actually, I did a lot. Of, I did a lot of the cleanup work there. You know, I mean, oh, Sam didn't mean that. You know, it's some money. You know, Sam didn't. Mean that. <laughs> Sam was just. Oh, he was. He was. He was the best I ever saw, without a doubt. I mean, I've seen really? him. All. He was. He was incredible. Some night you never know what he was going to do. You know, it was always new. That's uh, that's Josh's that's awesome. dog, Lenny. Yes. Yeah, oh, this oh, is my dog, Lenny. Yeah, I just didn't acknowledge. <laughs> you know, he when, named when, his when, dog after you. When when, when it's, it's really Lenny. That's yeah, dog Lenny. Right <laughs> hey, Lenny, how you doing, man? Does a right nice dog tag. That's fantastic. <laughs> and uh, he's gone. Uh, uh, whatever I whatever I see animals come into the you know into the shot, I, I just kind of get quiet. You know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that kind of Zoom, Lenny. It's not that kind oh, of Zoom. It, it's my first one, Mike. I don't know. I can't take the chance. <laughs> we'll let you know well beforehand. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, there's no line with Zoom. <laughs> I'm doing a movie with Rodney Dangerfield. And in the movie, I have to sit on this couch and they have this 13 foot boa constrictor behind me on the couch. I go, hey, Rodney, man, I, I, I don't like snakes. I'm not going to. I'm not gonna. Oh, come on, kid! Don't be an asshole, kid. It's gonna be fine. So they bring the snake wrangler and they go, Mr. Clark, it's the air conditioner will be on full. The snake will be totally asleep. I said, All right. So I, I I sit on back on the couch and I feel the snake, but you know he's rest, he's asleep. It's all right. Then they bring in these wrestlers, cameras, lighting guys, uh, camera crew, sound, and I'm going, man, there's about 60 people in this room, and we start to shoot, and all of a sudden the snake wakes up. It starts crawling across my neck, and I go, God! It's a, it's, it's a movie called Meet Wally Sparks. It was only seen by like eight. Oh people. yeah. But they <laughs> kept that scene in the movie, and that's not right, Mike. That's me flipping. Well, now I know not to watch it because I can't even see pictures of snakes without Ooh, like having yeah. to go to therapy. Oh, oh yeah, man. Josh has a serious fear of snakes, man. It's it's amazing. Like if I held up, a, I should have got a picture of a snake here somewhere. No, if it's I okay. held up a picture it's of a snake, he'd freak out. He would freak yes. out. Oh, yeah. the, the pictures don't bother me, and but but being around them, I'm like uh, I'm like uh, Harrison Ford in 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 uh, you know that movie. Why do they have to be snakes? Oh, right. oh, Indiana Jones. Yeah, yeah Indiana Jones. <laughs> he yeah. freaked the fuck out in that movie. Josh oh, oh. also doesn't like the word treat. Try it out. Say treat. No, I do, you don't have to. Treat? Uh, Was that bad? No, it I know. It's such a positive word. Know. It's such like, a positive word, and he, he, he has a visceral reaction. The veins pop out in his head. I don't know neck. what. Like, especially he gets, when gets people red say in the face. my treat, it just my it treat? makes my whole butt. Don't. I, I know what it sounds so like. Positive. You don't need this, though. I, that means somebody's that buying is. you lunch. Why would you get this? <laughs> or dinner. Or yeah. Flow. <laughs> right. It's <laughs> my treat. A, a gaggle of whores. <laughs> a gaggle? Is that the... <laughs> that's going to be the promo for this whole fucking thing. Just you going, a gaggle of whores. The fastest fucking <laughs> promo for a video ever. Three seconds. We had Lenny on. What do he say? A gaggle of whores. <laughs> Done. Well, if the shoe fits, where? Hey <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what's what's the you're you're down on uh, Martha's Vineyard? There's like I ten am. people there, and there are fifteen yeah. cases. How does that work? Right. Yeah, man. I tell you what. I I come, but oh, you, to go shopping now, right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Stop and shop down here. So you go in. And I, I couldn't, I can't sleep anymore, man. I can't sleep, which sucks. So I get up early anyway. So I went for the elderly shopping hours. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, you can do that now, Lenny, yeah. right? I mean, take advantage the of it. Take the guy, advantage. The guy, the guy says, uh, excuse me, sir, you have to be elderly to shop. I go, young man, if I had my cane, I would ram it right in your ass. Step aside, young boy. I am in a I had dinner with Billy the Kid, you know. So now, <laughs> young, young fucking kid from another country. Uh, okay. Oh. That, that, so now you have to, they have the floor tape. You have to go one way down the aisles. And if you forget, oh, right. you got to go all the way around, you know, and I'm three feet away. So I just start backing up and I go, oh, you know, you, know, you can't do that. And I go, oh, Magoo, you've done it again. You know, like I'm missing the <laughs> Stop and shop, you know. And do you have I, the? Uh, are you wearing like the whole mask and gloves set up? Do you got everything? The hazmat uh, suit going? Or yeah, Mike, you can't go in the stores without a mask and gloves now. 
So I go in wearing a, a, a motorcycle helmet and a winter gloves, a ski parka. You know, I, I got the poles. You know, I, I make believe to hold me up. You know what I mean? It's, it's unbelievable. Yeah, I, I, I take it to the extreme just to fuck with them. You know, I mean, hey, look, 15 cases. I don't think we're going to bump into those people. I mean, I don't know. And I, I get in and out, you know, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm, ooh, let's read the labels. No. Hey, man, I didn't read them before. I'm not going to read them now. No. <laughs> no. No shopping list. No bullshit. Go the fuck in and get the fuck out. It is getting creepy, though, because me and my wife went to uh, Trader Joe's the other day, and everybody was, like, down the street, like, six feet apart, and they had these people walking up and down, like, going over all the rules, like, you can't oh, yeah. shop in pairs, one person at a time. Like, don't be on your cell phone. And I was waiting for them to ask for my papers to prove that right. I was Jewish. <laughs> right. <laughs> you, you can't go down an aisle the wrong way and stop and shop. But you can sneak into the country. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> if I go to the promo, it's another one. Store, and there's a line of people waiting to go shopping, I'd rather stop. <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd hit something on the road and cook it up when I get home. I'm not <laughs> waiting in a, I'm waiting in a line. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I, I didn't think it was this long to be taken up by some coronavirus or the COVID-19 <laughs> or the, the, the wing sang woo, whatever. The, I don't know. I can't stop my fault. And I don't blame Chinese people at all. The Chinese government, I blame. <laughs> But the ch- I would go. To, I would go to the Kowloon tonight if I was on the main. Right. Line. Yeah. Oh my right. God. Yes. Yeah. Dude, yeah. right down the street, a friend, a friend of mine uh, was on the Cape, and he was driving home. Unfortunately, his dad passed, so they had to go. It's the funerals are a whole nother fucking thing. Right. How they have to do it. But he was driving back up Route One, and he's like, "Fuck this! I'm stopping off to see the Wong family." Oh, and the Wongs are the best people in the world. So I'm awesome. Working nicest, greatest. Best. I'd go in there. I don't. Got, this got nothing to do with that. Now I'm talking about, you know, listen, we used to worry about nuclear bombs and how many people. Are, now all you got to do is have some crazy virus and the whole fucking world stops. <laughs> Remember when we were worried about plastic straws? Oh, yeah, yeah right. I mean, I, Bring it this on. Led us, this led us to that. The fucking, <laughs> now, how about this, though? You can't use the old fucking bags. You, you have to give your bags right? out. Yeah, right. This has got to be fucking <laughs> killing them at some point. Fuck you. First, it was the bag that would break apart. I would load all sorts of shit and put the bag up, have the bag break and go, clean up right here. Clean up <laughs> over here. But if there's a positive to take away from this whole virus, all the woke people, all the politically, they've all lost their power. Nobody oh, is getting canceled right now because nobody cares. Yeah, Nobody's getting right. offended. Yeah, man. <laughs> How about that, you fucking woke people? You finally woke up and realized, wow, there's other shit in the world other than me. It's not all about me. But let's hope you get the fucking COVID-19. Then who you can fucking bitch to? Ocasio, Ocasio, fucking Cortez, a bitch who couldn't even make a good fucking martini. And now she's running the Democratic Party. Good night. <laughs> all right you whores i gotta go all all right, right, buddy. Buddy. Thanks thank you man. hey thank Thanks you buddy. Man. appreciate it man i wish y'all the best we'll Tell zoom Logan we said hello you too. i sure will zoom zoom you fuckers we love you buddy <laughs> love you guys yeah. right. see you later man <laughs> how do i get off he, but he can't <laughs> get off that was fucking great that was fucking oh solid. god Oh, why is it always you and me at the end? I don't know. Wait, Garage Doors Plus, Invoke Media, Invoke and, Media. Who's, and who's our newest sponsor? Boston Exterior Remodeling, nice. and then also Pathfinder Tree Service. They'll be signing on next week. Oh, is Pathfinder Tree Service? Those guys did a, I saw something on Facebook. They fucking drove their truck through a town for Easter to yeah, celebrate. Yeah, Norwood in uh, South Boston. He invited me down, wanted me to be on the, uh, the back of the truck with the Easter Bunny. I missed it by a minute. But it was it was awesome to see because I got in my car and followed them behind, and nice. just like everybody behind them was like, "Oh my God, that was the best thing ever!" And hey, it was hey, just... listen, socially <laughs> distanced, right? You were socially distanced. It, yes. Good. I, All right. I, so I who is it again? What, what's what, what's Lucas's company? Lucas Car Pathfinder Tree Service. And then Invoke Media, and then Boston Exterior Remodeling and Garage, and Garage Doors, Plus. Doors Plus. Boom! We're the fuck out of here. See Bye. ya.